Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your, oh what is it, end of May, May 15th to the 31st uh, reading. Generally my readings are love readings, just take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are looking for a quickie reading, you can check me out on Instago, 10 bucks for a, you know, a, something within 24 hours, short and sometimes sweet, sometimes not. That's for Apple iPhone users. I also have my other options, which you can find below. This is for the sign of Pisces. End of May, May 15th through May 31st. What does Pisces need to know in regards to love? Because my readings are love readings. I will speak up as we get going. De decisions you have you have choices okay this is about the seven of cups is about choices okay it's about uh, illusions you know what do you choose you will pay the consequences of whatever you choose is it love or money what's more important to you that's what the card is what do you choose you have to make a choice and there will be consequences either way of your choice that's what this card is there's a lack of uh, confidence here in some arena of your life or whoever you're dealing with somebody has lacks confidence they lack pride they may have a um, a big ego you know the ego could be a little too big here you know it could be there could be some sort of confusion in regards to what you are choosing are you choosing it for the right reasons you know, I just see that there could be ego here. There could also be weakness, okay? There's lack of confidence, lack of courage, lack of strength with the strength reversed, clinging to the past. And here you are. You could also be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, this is a man or a woman when this comes up, but it feels like maybe you are clinging to the past. Um, unable to let go the strength card reversed unable to let go and now there could be consequences of some action that has been taken I'm not sure interesting reluctant to move on again okay the six of cups reversed and the six of swords reversed somebody is reluctant to move on from a situation and they're unable to let go the strength card reversed is somebody is unable to let go Yeah, so you, oh my goodness, I'm just going to get the rest of these cards before we keep going. Ooh. Yeah, so it's you, somebody has to make a conscious change to free themselves from a situation. It's like something has reached the point of collapsing, okay, whether it's you or whoever you're dealing with. There could be some addictions that are at play. Um, energy could be being zapped at this time. There's like a moodiness about um, that's affecting your relationships. It's like either you or the person you're dealing with isn't putting in enough effort. They're not working on it. They don't have time for it. They don't have energy for it. Things are out of balance. Things are out of harmony. Uh, you could be dealing with either it's you or another person that is very impatient. Um, things there's a, there's a lack of growth here with this situation, whoever this is with. <coughs> Okay, there's no more growth. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Somebody needs to make a conscious change to bring growth into their lives, but the past is holding them back. They're reluctant to see the new approach, reluctant to let go, but reluctant to make a change here. Stay, staying in the same old place instead of making this conscious change. A change is needed to bring growth, but somebody isn't putting in any effort to making this change. And it's causing them a lot of discord in their lives because they are reluctant to, to accept this new approach and they're living in confusion and illusion. They're just making the wrong choice and now they're living with the consequences of their wrong choice. Okay? 
So it feels like there's some kind of burden that needs to be released, but somebody isn't putting in the effort with the Eight of Pentacles Reverse to drop this burden, okay? This right here, the Empress Reverse, represents the sign of Taurus. This is, represents the sign of Sagittarius. So we have Taurus, Sagittarius, Leo, <coughs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it feels as though there is a completion of a relationship, a past relationship. There's a completion, that's a 10, of a past relationship that now needs to be truly let go of. Interesting. I don't know. I'm going to zoom this in. Let's talk about the future. The future for this week. So this week, what do they need to know for advice this week? Let go. Drop it. Drop it. This Ten of Wands is making that conscious change. This is the outcome card in my spread. It's reversed. You have to free yourself. You need to make this change so that you can bring balance back to your life. Balance awaits right now. It's up to you to bring this balance back to your life. But it's about the decisions that you make. The very first card is about decisions. Your decisions decide whether your life is balanced or not. And it appears that somebody has been reluctant to change the way they make decisions. And I'm sorry to tell you that. But that's what's going on. Somebody has, there's a lot of pride and ego in the way. I will not. I will not change. You know, and that's fine. If you don't want to change, there's no growth. Because with, with uh, growth comes change. So somebody is reluctant to change when it's time to change. You know what I'm saying? We all change. And some people are so stubborn. They're like, no, no, I refuse. Well then there'll be no growth because with, I mean, you think about growth as that plant grows, it's changing and there is no growth because you're refusing to change. Okay. And I'm not judging you. I am who I am. I say it the way it is, but it's just the way it is. It's in all honesty here. Okay. Pisces needs to change something so that they can grow and have a happy relationship. To have a happy relationship, there's a change that is needing which you have been resisting, okay? You need to find the confidence. You need to do the right thing. You need to make the progress in your life that is needed, and that means that you're going to have to take action. You need to come out of this darkness. You need to see the light, and I know sometimes that isn't easy. Um, the Five of Cups reversed is like, you need to restore the faith that has been lost. It feels as though you have two paths. You have to make a serious decision here. Do you go back to this person in the past? Because the Six of Cups, you're holding on to it. It's reversed. The Six of Cups reversed is holding on to the past. You're thinking about it. You want to. Somebody wants to. They're, they, 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 half and half. I mean, we have the Two of Wands. I kind of want to go back, and I kind of don't. I do, but I don't. That's what this card is. I do, but I don't. Okay, so it's like a restlessness. You're, you're probably, you know, you have to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay? Do I go? What am I going to do? You know, this is, it's the time to make a decision. What are you going to do? So this is a week of decisions, 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 choices, choices, you know, in regards to restoring peace and harmony in your life. But in order to do that, change is needed. You have to allow the growth instead of halting the growth. And like I said, with, with growth comes change. And if you will not let yourself change, there will not be any growth. Another decision. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It's time to do the right thing. When the justice card comes out, it's time to do the right thing and make this most difficult decision to bring the balance back in your life. I can see that this is a, um, uh, the end of May is about seeking balance and bringing balance back to your life. It's about making those decisions that will bring harmony and peace okay, to your life in abundance and security. It's about victory and success you know you're working on bringing victory and success to your life but it's all about the decisions that you make
okay? Be careful, okay, the meaning of this card, and I think this is in the Wild Unknown book, it says this, it says, be, I'm not sure what book it is, so don't quote me on that, but in one of the books that I, I glanced through a long time ago, be careful what, for, for this card, be careful what you own, for what you own owns you. That's the meaning of this card. What you own owns you. You can choose to take everything that's in these cups, or you can choose to take the cups. The cups is love. The stuff inside the cups is stuff. What do you choose? It's about the decisions that you make. It's, you have choices. You have options. It's a big decision. What do you choose? What do you choose? So you, this, and this is the very first card that came out. And it's a seven, by the way. Seven is a very divine number. Um, it's about making the right decision and be, living with the consequences of your decision. There will be consequences for your decision. That's what this card is. It's about consequences. So... Is this is a week of finding the stability and the security and the peace and the harmony that has been lost. It's about restoring it by making that right decision, letting your pushing your ego aside and letting the growth happen, letting the change happen. Okay, there is. Um, there could be a reunion. There could be a union period. There could be a new partnership. It could be a reconciliation. There could be, either way, there's a, there's a connection. There's a love connection here that, you know, where two people are basically, they could be potential soulmates, okay? There's a potential soulmate connection here, Pisces. But it's about the decision that you make. Like I said, decisions, decisions, decisions. You may have a choice between two people. A new person and someone from your past. You could have a choice. You know, what do you do? Can you really let the past go and move on? Or do you really want to go back to the past but you don't want to change? I mean, I mean I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is, right? So I feel as though... You know, there is a soulmate union here. You know who this person is. You do. And it leads to stability and security, but it's about the choices that you make. It's time to come out of this darkness and see the light with the Five of Cups reversed. Um, I think that you are beginning to realize the truth of a situation. That's the meaning of the card. You're beginning to realize what will bring, will bring balance to your life. And this is a week of allowing the change to happen whether it's with a new person or an old person there's a potential pisces for a loving connection with a lot of attraction and mutual respect with another person should you allow it to happen and make the right decisions end of May. There's a potential for for love, okay? There's a potential for a soulmate connection, partnership, and happiness. Patience. Be patient. Be patient. Be willing to pass up good for great. That's a great message, isn't it? It really is. I like it a lot. Be patient. Be willing to pass up good for great. Isn't that what you've been doing? It looks like you're headed in the right direction. It does. I think you're headed towards something stable, secure, and loving, and balanced. It's all about the decisions that you make. There's an opportunity for love here, whether it, it's somebody with, from the past, the Six of Cups is somebody from the past, or somebody new. 
there's potential for a soulmate connection should you decide to go down that route. You may make, this may be a sudden decision because with the two of wands it can be sudden. You can make a sudden decision to stay or to go or to do something. So you could have a sudden epiphany to do something. Um, either way, I feel like it's a good end of the month for you, Pisces. There's, there's love in the air for you. That's what I see. Talk to you later.